Alright, hello everyone. It seems that we're getting some more information about the Splatfest coming up. Listen seems we're getting some new shells in here. Everyone's on Etail Alley, and oh my god, what is this? Is that a block that's raised? And is that a grate in mid? Could this mean one thing? This could only mean one thing. Etail Alley is getting reworks. Could be minor, could be major. This block and this grate seem to be the only two major changes so far that I've seen. I've checked both images a little bit, but there's nothing much that is out of the ordinary, really. I don't know what else to say for it, but we could be getting reworks on Etail Alley. I really hope that's the case and it's not a mistake left in. Someone has made a wee kind of example of this on Twitter. And this is kind of what they're going to potentially have in the game, which could be amazing. Like, just this alone, if it's inkable on this side, or any of the sides, if they keep it inkable, which I am pretty sure they're going to do, we could have a full new route on Etail Alley. You no longer have to go through this awkward lower section or be stuck defending this middle section. I really hope there's more changes than just this, because... The main problem isn't just that mid is annoying to traverse, but also the fact that the bridge itself is super easy to defend further up around here. Because once someone's up here with a crab tank, inkjet, or snipe rider, anything really, you can defend, you can just hold out this spot, you can camp out all this, you can catch the right over there, and you can very much rotate between the left and right sides extremely easily. And if necessary, you can just fall back to the middle section to defend here, or drop down to middle if you can't go back here. It's way too easy to defend, so I'm really hoping to make this side just a little bit further up here, or on the far side over here. They extend this route back here, or make it easy, like easy, make it easier to get up here, make it easier to get back here and hold this. Like maybe make a high ground up here, just anywhere to make it easier to hold to capture this bridge, because that's the main problem with Etail Alley. But with the grate being changed, ignore this because I don't know what's going on about this, but this block and this grate, this is already a good start. Because this is a solid change that will definitely make a difference. There's also this weird block right here, but I think, I don't think that was, was that there before? I don't think that was there before. But it's, it's a wee minor change. It allows you to get on top of this block instead of just, or these wee girders instead of jumping over the gap. But yeah, <laughs> we could be getting reworks for Eta Alley. I don't know. I'm not going to say anything. But this does mean that we could be getting reworks for not just <laughs> Hammerhead Bridge and, um, where is it? Um, crap. Barnacle and Dime. But also, Scorch with the new blocks could mean you're getting reworks for that, you know? And Eta Alley. Four reworks. Nintendo's cooking. I don't know what's going on this season. I don't know where all these like great changes and all these massive fixes have been, but we could be cooking. We could be not only eating, we could be dining five, no, six star. We could be dining six star style this season. And yeah, it seems like the block is like new from what I can tell about it. But yeah, just the ability to go down into middle like this because you can't even jump on this side of the block. It's only inkable from this specific side right here, not even the other sides, which is really strange. If they make this jumpable to go up there, that would be good. But even then, by raising this block, it would allow you to get up a bit higher and do a bit more pressure. The main issue without that is the ability to get into it right there. So by allowing you to even just get onto this block from this one side and just jumping to there, Granted, I wanted to have this. We all want to have this to make a squid roll jump, of course. But just the ability to go up here and then jump over to there with a squid roll or a jump or whatever. That's a magnificent end. It's like, mwah, you know? It's crazy. It'll be so good. Instead of going through the middle and being forced to stay on one or the other grounds, it's kind of weird. It's very interesting. But the main problem outside of that is the fact that this bridge is so easy to defend. Obviously, Painbrush can't really hold it too easily, but, like, if you have, like, a Hydra 
a ballpoint, or how do you know I said about a ballpoint, pencil, even a V-shot, just sitting up here with Zuka, boom, cancels out that whole left side, boom, can catch up the glass, cancel out that middle section, and you can see someone over here, you can just run all the way over here, you can throw your specials and you do whatever, and it'll stop them from going down. You see someone over there, oh, you rotate back around, and they can't get in. Even if you try going through the middle section, you can just look behind you and boom, you just stop them from getting in. Obviously, don't jump down, but it's just, it's way too easy to defend this bridge. It always has been, with a lot of different weapons in competitive, and even more, like, 20-fold more, obviously over-exaggeration, but lots more in solo queue. It's crazy, man. So, <laughs> yeah, four rework stages we might be getting. I say maybe because we're not too sure about Scorch, it could just be a minor tweak. But this is a rework. This is like a heavy rework. Even if it's just these two small changes, that is a slight minor change, but it could make a huge difference. Just from it all alone. I'm not too sure. I'm not going to say anything else about it. I want to hope for it. This is the second visual representation that we've gotten of a stage getting change. Actually, you know, third because of Scorch. It's the third one we've gotten outside of um, Hammerhead, which we didn't get anything for other than a wee blueprint. But this... Is looking good. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys for just tuning in for this short video. I just can't throw my recording together. I'm just... I'm here, recording. I literally got back in from college, so... I am kind of scuffed up. But, I'm fine. So yeah, I will keep noticing things going on, and yeah. I will hopefully see you guys in... Well, a few days, when the Splatfest goes around. If not, then there'll be a video coming around before that. Let's hope for more information coming out of this, though. Anyways, bye-bye.